All right, today I wanted to talk a little bit about counterfeit knives and how to identify them. Not long ago at the store where I work, my boss was ripped off. He uh, purchased a SOG knife, SOG or SOG, depending on how you like to pronounce it, uh, which was advertised as a genuine SOG knife and turns out that it is not. Let me show you. I mean, first off, the box. The original box should look something like this. Very plain, simple white box with a logo on it. And quite important here, it has the model number. FF-91. Whereas this one, I mean, obviously the design doesn't look anything like it. It also has this logo here, which doesn't appear on a genuine box and it's just very wrong and it has no model code anywhere okay so now on to the knife itself supposedly this is a SOG flash tanto which well it is not take a look at this just put it here take a good look at this and now take a look at a genuine SOG Flash Tanto. Slightly different, isn't it? This thing here doesn't even do a good job at impersonating a, gen uh, a genuine SOG Flash. And the quality is pretty crappy, quite frankly. We had, uh, we, we got two or three of them, and on one, when I took it out of the box and, and opened it and closed it to, to check the functionality, the uh, spring fell out. Yeah, in fact, it must have been this very same one, because it is supposed to be spring-assisted, but it is not. So yeah, the uh, <laughs> spring already came out. The uh, lock here feels, I don't know, just kind of cheap and gritty. and. The, the thing is also, it doesn't even necessarily lock properly. Right now it did, but I mean, look at how little contact there is. Uh -huh. My camera is actually very considerate turning on the integrated light. Isn't that nice of it? And uh, yeah, this is just not good quality at all. It sucks, quite frankly, and it looks a lot different. So, uh, on to the next one. We have another example. This here is supposed to be a Gerber Mini Remix. Mini, Rem Mini Remix 2, which does exist, just like the, uh, the SOG Flash. Th those models do exist, but, uh, oops, what the heck is this? Look at a genuine Gerber Mini Remix 2. Now look at this thing. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't even try. They didn't even try to make it look anything like the original. It's completely random. Still, it has a fake Gerber logo. And the problem with this is, which makes this kind of tricky, is that the, the the box looks genuine they it is it, it does even have the model number here and as far as i can tell the model number is even correct for the mini remix too so this may actually be a genuine box that that they snatched off somewhere and uh, <laughs> the knife however has nothing in common with the original this here is a fake cold steel Taipan. It has... It says there, Taipan. It has a cold steel logo on it, which looks genuine, but the problem is, you see, it's flipped. It's upside down. On the original Taipan, the cold steel logo, you know, it would be, it would not be upside down in this position. 
So they flipped it for some reason. Also, it seems that on a genuine Taipan you have a snap button here, not Velcro. So that's another error. Otherwise, it would be very hard to tell because this is a very accurate copy, it seems. This is pretty difficult to to figure out that this is actually a counterfeit. But it is. Here's another example of a weird counterfeit. Yeah, my boss has been deceived several times by this questionable retailer. And it can be pretty difficult if you do not have extensive knowledge of the different brands and the models and so on. So, uh, can be easy to be fooled. This here is called a Gerber Goldfinch. <laughs> and there is no such thing as a Goldfinch. There, there's never been any model made by Gerber. Uh, as to my knowledge, and the packaging is very weird. On the packaging, it doesn't even say Gerber anywhere. It's just, you know, Asian text and a completely different brand here. So this is very obviously fake, but it still has the Gerber logo. So if you want to be on the safe side, always avoid a knife which, which seems suspiciously cheap. You should always do your price comparison. Also to get the best possible price, of course. But if you find something that is much cheaper than all the others and uh, maybe located in Asia, better stay away from it. It's most likely counterfeit. And uh, generally I would recommend that you stick with well-established retailers. I'm going to give you some of my favorite knife stores where you can definitely rest assured that what you get there is genuine and they have good prices and everything. I'm going to post those in the description so uh, if you order from them you can be certain that there won't be any of, of these nonsense issues going on. This random Asia crap that just is either a cheap rip off or completely made up. It's uh, yeah, stay away from that.